Hi, everyone. Welcome and thanks for joining. Today, we'll be introducing Fishbowl's new Microsoft Teams integration for Oracle Web Center content. I'm Kate Rorick, Marketing Associate here at Fishbowl, and with me is our Director of Product Development, Greg Bala. Hello. Uh, Greg will be discussing this integration in depth and giving the demo portion of the webinar. As a reminder, the webinar is being recorded and we'll send out a copy of the recording to everyone who registered. So let's get started. Here is our agenda for the day. We're going to discuss what business problems we've seen over the past year or so that drove us to build the Microsoft Teams and Web Center integration. After that, I'll give an overview of the solution and what it's capable of. And then Greg will walk us through a demo. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free to drop them in the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen. So just a quick overview of Fishbowl Solutions. Fishbowl's overall goal is to help customers solve their costly and frustrating knowledge sharing problems. Since 1999, we have been working with Oracle Web Center specializing in enterprise content management and portal solutions, helping organizations better manage, retain, and distribute content through enhanced desktop and mobile experiences. We also help organizations leverage Oracle's Content and Experience Cloud, or more currently known as OCM, focusing on developing omni-channel experiences for their digital content. Most recently, we have been developing mobile applications and creating chatbots or virtual assistants for customer service and sales enablement using Oracle's autonomous mobile cloud enterprise platform. And to help you find all of this high value content within your organization, we provide enterprise search software and services for both on-premise and cloud-based use cases leveraging MindBreeze. So why are we here today? We know how important enterprise content management is and why it matters, but we also understand that end users will take the easiest path to their destination, regardless of whether it follows protocol, which is where our Web Center integration for Microsoft Teams comes in. Many of us spent the better portion of 2020 and maybe even 2021 working from home. Fortunately, because of Oracle Web Center, we were still able to access and share work documents as well as utilize Microsoft Teams to communicate and collaborate with our coworkers. During this time, while end users were working and sharing in Teams, Web Center admins began noticing organizational issues regarding document security, accessibility, and overall findability. Web Center had been well established as company systems of record, and yet users were randomly storing content outside of Web Center, on their desktops, file shares, or within Teams, creating multiple repositories. So now, not only were there thousands or even millions of documents in Web Center, but the number of those being stored outside of Web Center was also growing. Fishbowl knew a solution was needed, and both end users and admins would need to be happy with it. As we assess the situation, Fishbowl found that most Web Center customers also had Microsoft Teams. Teams became a vital application over the past few years because it allowed for video conferencing. And once users began using it for video conferencing, they started to explore and leverage other capabilities the Teams platform offered. Today, there are more than 250 million active users of Teams every month. We also noticed that when using Teams, users preferred to stay within the app as much as possible, making it a one-stop shop for collaboration with their coworkers where they can share and work on documents, manage their workday schedules, and host meetings. These users had little concern about where their documents were being stored as long as they could access them, especially if it meant avoiding the complex Web Center interface. On the other side of things, Web Center admins wanted to be able, sorry, wanted to enable users to upload documents to Web Center, as well as search and find content already within the Web Center repository, allowing end users access to documents while maintaining version control is a high priority. So we at Fishbowl took both perspectives into consideration and built a new integration altogether. 
So Fishbowl Solution was the Microsoft Teams app for Oracle Web Center. We combined the best features of both to create an easy to use, collaborative and powerful solution that keeps document retention top of mind. Users can collaborate with internal and external personnel, access it via web browser, desktop application or mobile app options, easily upload files to Web Center and vice versa to Teams. And to top it all off, the app retains the power of Web Center revisions, workflows, and audit history. All right. So as Greg will show in the demo, the integration is built through the Web Center app for Teams. Beyond the features mentioned in our last slide, users can also search, browse, and view files stored in Web Center content from the Teams interface transfer files between the two applications, view, approve, and reject workflow items, as well as access files via messaging extension or bot. How does it all work? I'm gonna hand it over to Greg to discuss in more detail. Thanks. Real quickly, um, I wanted to cover a brief overview of the solution we created. It consists of an app that is installed in Microsoft Teams, along with a, a middleware application, that facilitates the communication between Teams and Web Center. The app leverages the Microsoft Graph API, allowing users to browse and transfer files between Teams and Web Center. We also created a messaging extension and bot so users can search for Web Center files to view or share in Teams chat conversations. Most of the demonstration today will focus on the capabilities available in the Web Center Files tab. This will include searching and browsing for files, uploading and downloading files, and a simple workflow approval process. I will also briefly show how the messaging extension can be used to locate files in Web Center and used in the chat interface. So I'll start out, here I am inside of the Teams interface. Um, once the app is installed, users are able to go into the app bar and select the Web Center app from the list of applications. Since this is something I know I'm going to be using a lot, I'm gonna go ahead and pin that to my application bar. Initially, when users come into the system, what they're going to see is the most recent files they have access to. All of these items are stored inside of Web Center content. Um, if I mouse over an item, I can see a thumbnail preview of the item along with a little bit of metadata. Clicking on that item is going to allow me to easily view that item. I also have access to the content information for any of the items. I can see the metadata that is based on the profile for this file. I also can see all of the different revisions of this document and I can access the web viewable or the native version of the file. I can also easily edit the metadata right from within this interface. If I wanted to, I can search for files as well using a quick search to filter the results. I can browse by folder if I'm using the framework folders that are part of Web Center content to locate folders and files. I can view work in progress items. I can browse by content profile. So if I select policy, I can see all of the policies in the system. I can filter those based on my search criteria if I wanna filter those down. And then I can also see the workflows in the system. I have access to list of my workflow items, as well as the other workflows that are enabled in the system. If I want to upload a new version of a file, I can select a file from the list and I can select upload new version from the top menu. If I wanted to upload similar, I also have that option. If I wanna upload a completely new file, I can simply select the upload menu with no file selected, and that's going to give me a list of profiles to choose from. In this case, I will choose the Microsoft test profile, which will allow me to upload files. This interface allows me to both select files from my device, so in this case, my PC, 
I can add multiple files. So I'll add those two files to my upload queue. I can browse Teams as well and select files from Teams. So from within this interface, I can search for files. I can see my recent files, files that have been shared with me or the different teams that I'm a member of. So in this case, I'll navigate into the marketing team and then I can navigate that files hierarchy that I have set up to locate the files that I'd like to upload. Once again, I can select multiple files and I can add those files to the upload queue. And then I can go ahead and fill out the metadata for the files that I'm going to upload. I can uh, navigate the folder structure to select a folder location within Web Center where I want these files to be uploaded. Um, I can enter a title. In this case, I will enter uh, a title of webinar. Um, and a neat feature we have is the ability to automatically append the file name to the title of the document. So if I select that option, then when each of these files is uploaded, it's going to include whatever prefix I put in for the title along with the name of the file. Once I've completed filling out all of the metadata, I can simply click check in and that's going to upload all of those files. Since those files are set up with that profile to go into workflow, I can see that they now show up in my workflow queue in my workflow items. For items in workflow, I can select an item and view the workflow information for that item. And this is going to include the workflow name, the current step the item is in, the remaining reviewers, as well as the action history for the item. From this interface, I can select all of the files that I've just uploaded and I would have the option to either approve or reject all of the items at one time. In this case, I'm actually going to go ahead and approve those files. And that is going to release them into the system. And so they show up in the recent items. If I decided I actually didn't want to upload those items, uh, once again, I can select all of those items and I can choose to delete them. Uh, either the selected revision or all revisions. Since there's only one revision, I'll just do the selected revision and then those are removed from the system. Um, similarly, I have the ability to download multiple files from Web Center. I have the option to either download them to my device or download to Teams. If I choose to download to my device, I can select the revisions that I'd like to download, whether it be the web or the native, I can choose to zip them all in a single file before downloading and click download, and those will be downloaded to my computer. If I choose to download to Teams, once again, I will be able to select the location where they'll be downloaded. I will search for a location where I'd like them to be downloaded. Um, I can see this one here is the location where I'd like to download them. Uh, I select that location. I can see there's no files currently there. So I'll select that folder and then those two files that I've selected will be downloaded into Teams. If I switch over into that team and go into the files tab, I can navigate to that location where I downloaded those files and see that they were just added to Teams for me. The application itself can be accessed on the left-hand menu over here in users personal apps or the tab, the Web Center Files tab can be added as a tab to a team. So if I'm in this marketing team, for example, I can go in here and I can say add a tab. I can select Web Center from the list and I can save that. And then the Web Center tab will be available as part of this team for any of the users in the team to easily access files that are in Web Center. The next thing I'm going to show is the messaging 
extension capabilities. So this is going to be available anywhere within Teams, um, regardless of whether you're on the Web Center Files tab or um, anywhere else. Users would simply select the command bar, type in at Web Center, select the search action, and that's going to return a list of search results matching whatever search term they put in. Uh, if I limit it down, um, selecting one of the items is going to show me a document card of that item with quick links to both the web viewable and the content info. I also have the ability with these document cards to copy the cards. And this would allow me to use them in other places such as a conversation um, or messages to other users. I can include basic links to content that's stored inside of Web Center. And that's all I have for the demo. So I'll turn it back over to you, Kate. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Um, so thanks again. It looked like a great demo and really showed off some of our most exciting features. Uh, if your organization is already using both Microsoft Teams and Oracle Web Center, we hope you can now visualize how our integration can build a bridge between the two platforms, making users more productive and better able to follow document policies. If you have any questions, again, feel free to drop them in the Q&A section at the bottom of your screen. Um, we're not able to access those questions right now to do a live Q&A. So if you ask a question, we'll have someone reach out to you after the webinar to get you an answer and get you any additional information you may need. So with that, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we'll be following up in the next few days to answer questions as well as sending the recording of the webinar in case you would like to revisit any portion of it or share with others in your organization. Uh, if you would like more information on Fishbowl, please visit our website and check us out on social media. With that, I'm going to end our webinar for the day. So thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar.